The next thing to learn about is global modifiers. These are just different values that allow you to find detail elements of the character. First up, float textures and colors. The way these work is that they'll look through this entire body for any material parameters matching these names and then change their value accordingly. For example, this head type we're using right now, I was able to change the color in it by using a hue shift. As you can see right here, I have this hue shift value that lets me just change around the color of the skin. So since we're using a skeletal mesh that has this material, let's go ahead and just add a modifier to it. Now keep in note, the modifier name needs to match the material parameter name. And now we can go ahead and start changing. We change the values around, and our head will update accordingly. One thing to note on here is texture modifiers. These you don't input a texture specifically. These you'll actually create what's called a texture library, so you can add on multiple textures at one time. The way texture libraries work though is basically the same thing. You'll add in here the name of a texture parameter, which can be anything, and then you'll add in the specific texture you want to override it with. And once again, it can be set based on whether it's male or female. For example, let's go ahead and consider this coat. Now this coat here has a few different textures for colors we can pick from. So if we wanted to set up one of those other textures, all we need to do is find the parameter name for whatever texture is on this material, and then replace it. So in this case, the texture parameter is called color, so we'll just go ahead and call this color. And we will get the texture we want to change it to. Let's go ahead and pick this red color, because it's a good contrast. Set it to male. And now, boom, our texture has changed. You can obviously clear this, and it'll go back, or we can go back and use it. Next up are modifiers for morph targets, which are, as they explain, you can change morph targets from inside the modular character generator. Next you have actor scalers, which are just modifiers that can be customized for any specific character. And actor tags, which don't have any specific function, but are meant to give you an extra bit of metadata you may want to use.